my name is Travis Hagen. I'm the analyst for the Colorado Raptors. Uh, I've been using Next Sport for, this will be my second year now. Uh, last year was the, my first year with it. Uh, previously, I'd used Sports Code a bit. And then after, after a bit of, a bit of a trial, uh, Next Sport ended up being what we went with. Um, you know, as far as features and, and price and everything, it, it came down to a no-brainer to where you know, the features were quite similar, um, and, but the price was uh, not even close. So. Um, that that worked well for us. The other thing too is that the um, with how quickly you know we get we get support was um, that's a big thing for me is if I need something I can call and I know that I'm going to get who I need to get um, you know within you know, if I don't get if I don't get someone on the phone right now I'm getting I'm getting a message back in five or ten minutes. Um, to me that's pretty big um, and that was another reason that we made that choice. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I would say I use just kind of the most of the basic tools. Um, I don't use anything particularly fancy. Um, you know, obviously, just the, um, the button template is, is where I do most of my work. Um, getting, getting, the, getting the game tagged up the way we, the way we need it. Um, and tracking, tracking everything. Then we pop into the matrix and we pull, you know, from the matrix we get um, our, our stat engine and then we get uh, from the sub matrix, which is a really nice feature of. Um, you know, categories and then label uh, categories and descriptors and descriptors within those descriptors as well. Uh, let you go from that, that surface level to get down to that the second level of okay, well that kick was this place on the field, but what happens in it? How kind of pressure are we under at the same time? Uh, it gives you that second or third layer of detail. I'm really interested in the the heat mapping. And seeing how, how we can we can utilize that with our stuff as well, um, that would be that would be great. Some of the uh, some of the trend analysis is something that I'm uh, really hoping to get into um, as as, uh, we, as we look at our own trends, but then also using um, some of the trend analysis that when we code other games, we get codes for other games, we can use that for opponents and stuff as well, so we can kind of tell give us an idea of. Some of the things we might not have seen at first glance, but some things that the numbers and the stats can tell us. Um, I would just start pressing buttons, uh, start trying things. Um, you know, obviously, if you if you're coming from say if you're coming from a sports code, obviously you're on a Windows environment, so you know, that can be different for some people. Um, and also, you know, don't don't approach it like it is. Don't approach it like it is sports code, you know, because we, you tag in different in, in one environment and you switch it to the timeline and you have presentation mode. Don't think of it as, while we're doing some of the slow same actions, I wouldn't think of it as, um, you know, the first one, I didn't see my timeline when I, when I was registering that, that weirded me out. I was like, wait, hang on, how do I know my stuff's coming in? And then I started looking at, oh, well, I have the play-by-play, -play, and I have, I have the, uh, all register showing up here. So, um, just programs in general, um, ask questions, bug the hell out of support, um, which I certainly do, that's so very guilty of. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, and it's one of those things, it, it's, it's a new program, it's like, well, almost in some sense, it's a new language, um, that can be a bit to learn, but, um, Really, the more you play with it, just like anything, uh, any new system, the more you play with it, you'll get comfortable and, and you'll be off and running pretty quick. And for, for an, an upcoming analyst or someone who's thinking about getting into it, <laughs> you gotta love it. Um, if you don't, it's gonna be miserable. Um, you know, because you know, like today, we just finished a game. I probably got 12, 13 hours of coding ahead of me in the next, oh, the next 24 hours. Um, eight of those 24 hours are hopefully sleeping. We'll see. Um, and, you know, yeah, you, but you, you got it. Obviously, attention to detail, that, I think that goes without saying. Um, and then I, I think it's something that gets missed a lot is yes, we can, we can code up and categorize and tag and everything in, in, in that film, but unless we're using that data to, for, to inform 
decisions and inform coaches, then then it's not that useful. All right, so well, it's not useful. Data data without um, action is useless. Um, so I think a big part is being able to translate to, that to your coaching staff. If you, if you give them a bunch of numbers, that's not necessarily telling them anything. Um, having a little bit of insight and behind behind why those numbers are the way they were, um, explaining how that happened, that, that can be really useful. Um, and yeah, I mean, I would just, I think you got to be amongst your team as well. I think it's, I think it's important to know the players, know them well. Um, it makes the coding a heck of a lot better. You're, you're rooting on your guys as you're doing instead of just, you know, data entry. Um, if, if, you do, if you do one or the other, one, one's a bit more boring. Um, MLR, I, I think MLR is projecting quite well. Obviously, we're, we're adding new teams, um, and hopefully the, the player pool can keep expanding to, to accommodate those teams. Um, you know, and, and obviously we've got some bigger signings in, in, in the, the league this year. Some teams are recruited oh, quite well. Uh, it'll be really exciting to see what kind of stuff that, kind of stuff with the, some of these teams, some of these players can bring to the league. Um, you know, we have two, uh, two or three, we have three new teams this year. We've got I believe two coming in next year. Um, so a lot, a lot of potential growth. Um, love, you know, we have we're in the second rugby specific stadium in the country now here in Houston. Um, Ours, the first, the first one being in Colorado, um, and that's a, that's huge for the game. That's big that you know we, we get stadiums where people kind of say, "Oh, what's that?" And you know, we've got youth games coming up, coming up, youth programs. Um, so yeah, I think we're, rugby's got. A, I think rugby in the U.S. has to has to project from that grassroots level um, because that's that's where that's where all your talent is lying. That's where all those you know, said you grab a lot of guys late. In the college and high school realm, but if we can get them early, I think that'll benefit the game earlier in that 12, 13 year old range. Um, get them playing the game, get them familiar.